So hello, welcome back. This is game two of day 50. So I present you 1489. So yeah, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give away the last game or whatever. You know, it will be up. So watch that, then watch this. I think I will have like a few hour gap between the videos. Yeah, other than that, not much to say. Gonna hop into a 15 plus 10 minute game. So today, as I said previously, I've done tactics and I also spent a, a quite a lot of time not quite a lot i keep saying this i, I spent like a, a bit of time going through my mistakes from the uh, previous games like yes the day or the day before i played like 21 20 rapid games and so i took all the losses from that day and saw where i was going wrong uh, because you know it's it's very easy to write things off as tilt and you don't really ever get better because you just keep saying oh it's because it's because you was tilted but the truth is that's just not how it works there's obviously bad habits when it comes to thinking about my games when i'm playing the games which is causing the mistakes so i'll try to remember what i was thinking when i'll make those mistakes and try to fix those errors so yeah um the queen's gambit declined martial defense as they called it uh, a lot of people were, like going back here or here they're both fine if i win this oh this is not eight this is not nine points so i get eight points i'll be 497 the closest i've been to 1500 in forever so it'll make things quite exciting right here uh the first move that jumps out to me is this this line of the queen's gambit i don't know it as as well because it's, it's very it's quite uncommon so i think i think this is the next move i mean this has been attacked only two options push and give him a hole that the knight could jump into or just protect the piece so i'm gonna protect uh the next move is to probably i don't know if it's a good idea to push the pawn that far but to free this bishop is my idea and then come in my knight here so it removes the defense of this pawn that's quite common in the queen's gambit but i should actually try to memorize some of these um lines that are not as common because first of all it gives you a great advantage because because they're not common my opponent doesn't know much about them either so i think it's quite important so yeah as i said this is the next move is there anything I need to do preemptively? I don't think. Uh, this, then it's gonna probably force him to kick me out, else he will lose the knight because this knight is pinned to the queen, and then I could just push the pawn. Actually, he could wait. If I do this, and he does some random move, I don't know, pins me, push, and then he could attack my bishop. So if I take, I lose my bishop, basically. All right, so I'm gonna get pinned. Do I have to do anything about it? I mean, I, I could defend early. You know what, he might fall for a trick here, because some people sometimes just fall for this and it's discovered check. You know, I want to do this. Can't go wrong. But I didn't really have to do that now. I should probably get my knight out or something. But it should, it should be fine. You know, I'm not playing like a grandmaster. It's not going to find some crazy move. But it'd be funny if he falls for taking that pawn. No, he hasn't. Uh, I'm going to defend. He's probably going to... I mean, he knows that this piece isn't hanging now. So if he takes, takes, then takes, it'll be quite strange because he didn't take that pawn there earlier yeah so so he, he's he's not yeah he knows what's up castle if he takes if he takes i'll just take back my pawn and this piece is defended again can't take this so we're gonna castle and then maybe i could think about pinning the, the knight as well and yeah just get my pieces out and slowly start to build up a plan and attack i mean my bad if he does take and i take back this pawn is protected anyway so uh i reckon my opponent's just gonna castle here yep just castled all right so i do not want to move this but now this pawn is actually hanging because there's no discovered check actually if i do push this there is a discovered check but that lets the knight in so i either need to protect this pawn or move it when it comes to protecting this is the first thing that comes to my mind or let's say if we were to move it this square is defended like three times i'm not going to win that battle all right i could try kick the bishop oops my bad but just, you know this is this is why i make blunders i just completely disregarded that this might be hanging i mean there's another way of defending this is to move the bishop out of the way that may be here but that's that's not a good move because i want to get this bishop out and then probably bring my rook here to control this file so i'm gonna develop and defend at the same time this seems sensible defend this piece and then i could get around to try kicking this bishop out yeah, I've got a lot of space in the center, as as I usually do in these games. I start quite strong. My I feel like my opening principles are actually good, although like I haven't 
I don't really know a lot of openings. I have like a good sense of what's a good move and what isn't in the opening. Cool. So my opponent develops a bishop. What does that do? That weakens this square here. So that move isn't threatening anything. Just gonna go ahead and keep the bishop. Yeah, moves back. Maybe this. I mean, the thing is, this piece isn't pinned anymore. But yeah, I mean, th this piece doesn't really have a job other than control the center. Like have some presence in the center because this, this square is defended. I mean, what about, you know, since he's moved this and blocked the attack of the queen on my pawn, what about this? Then maybe this, but the thing is, so if I do this, I could just be kicked right away, so it doesn't work. If I do this first, you know what, should I go for this? This, take, take? If I go for this, takes this, what if I take the knight? And surely not, he's not really gonna let me take a pawn, is he? So he'll probably take back with the queen. All right, I'm gonna go for this push. Makes this hold, but then I'm fine with this. It removes the defender from the king, opens the diagonal for my bishop, also blocks the attack on my pawn from the queen or any like long range pieces like rooks. All right, I'm gonna go for this. This might either be the worst idea or the best idea, who knows? And I mean, if he, if he takes like this, yeah, I'm just gonna take the knight because I don't think I could let this knight in. Oh wait, there might be a problem there. Take, take the knight, take, but I could just move over. If he takes this as well, I get my rook up to this rank here. And I assume he's probably gonna take with the queen to prevent doubling the pawns. Then I could grab another pawn here. And now these two pieces will be fought. But yeah, he could just move back. Huh, I've just made the position quite complex. <laughs> I mean, that is if he takes the knight with the bishop. If he opts into the center with the, the knight, it's not as complex, just take, take. And I think I like that. This is quite a strange game, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is gonna be a game where Stockfish actually screams at me, but I can't help it. So my, yeah, my opponent's, I think, contemplating taking my knight because he's, he's taking quite a lot of time. All right, cool. I mean, I think I've calculated this enough times. I could just take this right. Or well, maybe, what if I hop the knight in here? Is it, no, nah, it's not worth getting rid of the dark square bishop. All right, I'm gonna take, cool. So we have this position. So I'm staring down at his king side. This is where planning comes now. First idea I, I think of is this, or maybe this, then this. Actually, I think we should be principled first, right? Get the rook into the game. But is that too slow? Am I like, you see, you don't want to attack without all your pieces in the game though. This attacks his square. You could just push. Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna get the rook into the game first. And then I might go for this. I mean, in fact, I might go here to the starting square. And I don't know if, if things don't go right. I could always jump here, attacking this pawn. This pawn here on d5 is actually undefended. So yeah, I think getting the rook out first was sensible. Ah, okay, so it's doubling up on my pawn, but it's defended, defended twice. I just want to double check, make sure there's nothing sneaky going on. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back this way. Wait, wait, let me see if there's a sacrifice there. Check, check. Oh, wait, 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 wait. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. There might be something here. Check, take, check. Squares it could move out these. If it moves out, surely that's not good. It just cannot be good. We push this pawn up. Do we do this? Check, take, check. If it moves there, this is also a check actually. Then we could move to only these squares. Or he's gonna get mated if he goes out. So if he goes out, he's, he's probably gonna get mated, right? Check, take, check. What about this? That's a discovered check. So that, that doesn't work. Check, take, check. Um, goes back. This, I think he could defend like this. He could defend the checkmate like this with the bishop. Or what if I do this? Moves in further. All right, it doesn't work. I don't think it works. All right, we're gonna do this and then this. All right, I spent three minutes on that. Let's not get into time trouble. But yeah, this also adds a defender to this pawn as well. So I think I think that's a good move. I mean, I could do this now, no? I just want to double check again. Check this, check. Wait, if he trades, oh no, if he trades, then my knight. But now this is a checkmate threat. So if he could defend like this, uh, then I would get my, yeah, all right. I'm gonna go for this. Defends like this, threaten the rook, rook moves, get my knight in. And this bishop here looks stupid. All right, I mean, actually, <laughs> I have to be a bit careful there. 
Oh, I kind of snatched at that. I removed the defender of this. Yeah. But I think I'm just going to take this way. <laughs> this, the knight comes in. Wait, what if I just take the rook first? Hmm. Alright, take the rook. If I take the rook. Uh, I don't know. Let's say he, he attacks my queen. I attack his queen, maybe. Or I just trade and then lose a pawn. The thing is, if I do this, I think this bishop's going to get away. So therefore, I'm going to lose the material. Um, what about a sack here? Take. Alright, I'll be down two points. And then I take this, no? Take, take. If I take with the queen, I lose a pawn. Take, take. I could just take with my pawn. Alright. Doing this. <sighs> Actually, I, I, yeah. <laughs> why didn't, why did I do that? <laughs> I literally thought about this move earlier. Why, why did I? Nice. Okay. I could do this. Take, take back. What if I just sacrifice? Takes. Oh, I made a mess of this. If I move back here, take. I mean, I may as well take a pawn with me, right? I lost that piece anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm down four points. Yeah, cool. <sighs> ah, yeah, I messed that up. I messed that up. I should have just traded. Oh, in fact, I should have just, just... Like, I'm playing a 15 plus 10 minute increment. Well, I don't know why I spent 1.7 seconds on a move. Of course, my calculations aren't going to be perfect, so... I don't know why. That was quite frustrating. But let's ride this out. You never know. Opponent couldn't maybe become too comfortable. Uh, so my opponent didn't trade. He's going to get the rook into the game further. All right. Take, take. I mean, what if I do this? Captures. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my piece. But I mean, if I do this, he only has one square to move to. Yeah. But can I try to take that square away? If I do this, and he falls for capturing this, it's a free piece now. Take, take. Or can I do this now? Maybe. Yeah. No, I can't trap it. I'm gonna go for this. Maybe you'll take. Oh no, then I can't push. Ah, uh, because this bishop pins my opponent. Yeah, this is. This is quite poor, I'm not gonna lie. But maybe this then this. <laughs> Can I keep pushing? Yeah, I'm gonna end up losing a, a flipping. Yeah, this is just, yeah, it is. <laughs> oh my God, man, what have I done? All right, so yeah, it happens, it happens. Yeah, let's ride this out. So this pawn is pinned, by the way. So this, this bishop is actually hanging. I have like two minutes on the clock, so I'm not too, too enthusiastic about how this game's gone. My opponent has all the time in the world to just absolutely crush me. But yeah, you know, you never know. They could just hang a piece. They might not be realizing that that bishop's hanging. But I doubt it with this time increment. People don't really blunder much. Other than me, I blunder all the time. Maybe he decides to double up. I mean, yeah, of course not, because my bishop's there. But double up this way, maybe. I mean, after he deals with this hanging bishop. Oh, this is a nice move. That's a very nice move. Ah. Oh. So I guess he just hung this. You know what, I'm gonna take, I'm not even gonna think too much. So I want a piece back, but I'm still three points down. How, how has this happened? Did I give up a bunch of pawns as well? Yeah, so I guess because of the rook and, and a pawn, I think that's why I'm three points down. So yeah, my opponent didn't then recognize that that pawn was actually pinned. You know, it'd be actually quite funny if I win this. Like, I should not I have no business winning this, like. <laughs> but let's think here, because if this, let's say this bishop moves. If this bishop moves, it's, it's game over. Like right now, if he actually moves this bishop, check this. And like one way or another, I'm getting it. <laughs> no doubt about it. Yeah, one thing when it comes to chess is like, yeah, you could you could like get a leading position, which I'm actually good at. Usually, this game, I, I completely messed it up. But usually, you just get like a winning position, yeah. Yeah, I expected that move. But then there's also converting it. That's another story. So my opponent is trying to go for this guard, I think. All right, where do I move my queen? This maybe, or do I defend this pawn? I'm just gonna move there. Um, yeah, I think he's gonna take this pawn. I, I just, oh man, my bishop don't even have anywhere to go. I have to go back here. Oh, that attacks the rook. No bad idea. Oh, I'm gonna take the rook. I don't know. I'll check. Ah, I see. Cool. So he takes a pawn with him. Yeah. Should I just start <laughs> coming out? Uh, what if I take? Nah, that's wild. Alright, cool. Whatever. So he gets a piece like that. Just just attack, bro. <laughs> just attack. I don't even know what I'm doing. Maybe this. I mean, I can then do a check. 
yeah at this point i'm just trying to buy time really because i have increments i'm just trying to make some moves that doesn't lose me the game yet i mean i'm, I'm lost i accept that uh but you know i think we should ride that to the end you never know oh yeah of course the queen just take a pawn why not this is a fast pawn ah yeah nice uh yeah yeah so it's checkmate really i'll give him the satisfaction of meeting me <sighs> Yeah, so four blunders, um, yeah, rough one, rough one, let's evaluate this, yeah, not happy with that performance, yeah, so this is all good, cool, castle, so here I'm winning, as you do, in the opening I usually am winning, even if I don't know the opening, I just have a sense of what might be a good move, mistake, I should have kicked the knight, Wait what? No. Wait what knight? Keep this knight. Wait this. Take take. But what if he takes my knight then? I take back and I can't get this pawn back. Uh, what? Is it this move? No, it's not this, is it? Oh, I'm such an idiot. It's the other knight. Oh, I should have done this early. Yeah, but oh, is it the same deal basically? But okay, it's the same deal. This this this. Oh, I should have done it earlier. Okay. But if I do this, this is hanging, no? Take. Oh no, it's not. Oh, I briefly, I briefly mentioned this, didn't I? It's a discovered check. Oh, I should have done that. Yeah, that is a mistake indeed. So I kick the bishop. All right, shouldn't have taken. What? Well, this. But he just kicks me. Then I take, take, this, this. I never knew this move would ever be a good idea. I mean, technically, it's right in the face of the king yeah maybe i should consider it because yeah once the queen gets in as well yeah all right i was never gonna see that take take so that's an inaccuracy if you tell me this was the better move it was wow nice yeah oh my god so i was i was just a tad tad bit slow now that's an inaccuracy was it still the best move still want this Wow, man, I picked all the wrong moves. Mistake, mistake. This was so trigger happy, I don't know why. It leaves this pawn undefended for no reason. I should probably, all right, what should I have actually done here? So this piece is under attack. In the next move, it's probably gonna be traded off. I either gotta move it or, or it's defended anyway, but it's protecting this piece. So I need to add the defender to this piece. Well, I don't need to add a defender, it's just if I want to move this, I go add a defender. So, maybe this. No. My rook. What? Take. Nah, Stockfish, what are you talking about? Bro, what? What? Nah, man, this... Nah, I don't, I don't get it. This, it's, it. Stockfish is too strong. Yeah, this is... <laughs> I don't know why I went so far as to just trade bro that's a blunder what what this yeah but i lose a pawn oh wait i don't oh wow this is why did i what was going in why did i do that oh why did i do that i forgot it was being attacked i was oh man yeah i mean after this it was over <laughs> like he he literally blundered the piece and it's a good move. That's how good his position was. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so I'm 1481 right now. Kind of disappointed by that mistake I made. Such a simple thing. Yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you here tomorrow.